Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's my honor, as usual, to be greeting you and always bring this message of emancipation to you, pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. Now, today I want to speak to you concerning Neville Goddard and the awakening. And we all know that Neville Goddard would have had an awakening experience which he referred to as the promise but first of all he was taught the law by Abdullah and he would have come to the realization that he can create his reality consciously because there's a power in him that he can use to achieve his every desire and as Neville continue to believe in himself and continue to believe that God in man is man's imagination, Neville would have had an awakened imagination. And as you know, I always teach that imagination parallels the sun, as in the S-U-N, and the S-U-N parallels your imagination. For I always say to you that without the sun, as in the S-U-N, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. So actually, my brother and my sisters, you will come to the realization that when you've been taught to believe in Jesus as the S-O-N, to be the light of the world, that, that is actually a lie. For no S-O-N could ever exist unless there first be the S-U-N. That is why you have to realize that God is light, okay, and that God and man are one. Now, there's something that is going on right now on the internet where there's a lot of guys who are saying that they're going to be a great awakening taking place on the 24th of December, and there are those who wouldn't awake yet there are those who would awake and those who would awake will continue on that awakened path and those who haven't been awakened they will continue in their ignorance and so on but this is something that's been happening all the time and it's there's no way anyone gonna know it's gonna happen and a great you know as a great event where it's happening to a mass of people one time and so on because no one knows the day nor the hour of his visitation or his awakening because we all came into this world in a state of forgetfulness a state of amnesia and we do not know who we are and when you really awake that is when you will realize that this life is a dream Many people can say it's a dream, but not until you awake from the dream of life that you realize that it's really a dream. And that's the only time that you can know. So it's basically a secret. So my brother and my sisters, the greatest mystery on the face of this earth can never be known intellectually. It must be experienced. And that is why many times Nebel would say that I am not speaking from theory. I'm speaking of that which I experience. And so too... I can tell you that that which I speak, I am speaking from experience. And that is why I know this whole great solar flash. It's a hoax. And a lot of these guys who are on YouTube who are, uh, I would say, getting the people to believe that they are awakened and that they are spiritual and that they are true guides. They're not real true guides because they are just speaking from intellect. They're speaking from the ego. Because no one can ever, ever know the day and the hour of their visitation. You wouldn't know it. It would happen suddenly. It's something that takes place suddenly. Neville tells you that too. In 1959, when he had that experience, it happened suddenly. And if you read in, in Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, and you read around verses 36, you see where it tells you, but of that day and hour, know it no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. 
The Father is speaking of your higher self, your subconscious mind. And your thoughts are your thinking, are your reason, your logics. Because remember your disciple, their thoughts that you can send out. There's no way you can reason this thing and try to put something together that would make it happen on a, on a certain day or a certain hour. You do not know. The higher intelligence, which is the true self, knows the time and the hour. And so when the time is right for you to awake from the dream of life, you would awake from the dream of life and it would be a phenomenon to you. How, how would you feel knowing that you are under expectation for this certain day? And you are counting down for the certain day to come, and then the certain day come. And you are under all of that expectation. You become anxious, and you're waiting for this thing to happen. It's not going to happen. You see, even with manifesting something, when you do your imaginal act, you don't go about wondering when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. You just leave it, and it's going to happen. It's basic common sense. You want to be um, awakened, you want to be enlightened, you want your third eye to, to open, it would happen, just leave it. You have the desire, you believe, and leave it. So, my brother and my sisters, these people who always, every, well, for the longest while I've been hearing them talking about the Mayan calendar and, and um, the Ethiopian calendar, then they will come back around and tell you that time is an illusion. I know time is an illusion. Then they will tell you the Maya, this is the Maya, and it's illusionary. So what the hell are they talking about? Okay? Now, if we are spirit having a human experience, it means that we are eternal beings. So my brother and my sister, when you're going to come to the place of, of discovering your eternal self, which is true self, your Christ self, you would not know. Okay? You would not know. You see, when we decide to, to, to come here to have this experience, we decide to forget. Okay? And that's why we're born in amnesia. So you would not remember before that time of awakening because the time of awakening is the time of remembrance. That's why the Bible says that when you've been in your report from on high, that all things will come to your remembrance and you'll be able to speak the universal language. The universal language of consciousness. So the religious people say speaking in tongues and they hear them speaking all of them the, um, people from different languages all of them speak in their tongues. They didn't understand what it's all about, my brother and my sisters. It's the universal language of consciousness is speaking about. So when you awake and you come to your true self, you come to your higher self, you would know others who've been awakened and would have come to their higher self. Those people who've been awakened and have come to a higher self, which there are very few of them, and I can go on the internet and say, that person is someone who awakened. I can listen to how, what they say. I know I can listen to their experience, the tell of their experience, okay? Just, I would just as how I would have tell of my experience. I know of many who have tell of their experiences, basically the same thing. It's not everything doesn't happen the same, 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 100% way, but it's, you can tell it's the same thing that happened to you when you hear somebody speak about it in detail. So, my brother and my sisters, those people who really have been awakened, like myself, you're not hearing them going around with this kind of thing and trying to uh, have a hype around themselves and saying this great thing going to happen and so many people going to wake and this and that. No, 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 no. So, my brother and my sisters, let me say this to you. Do not get caught up with no, no hype. Continue living your life the way you've been living, being on the right path, and continue having that desire to awake from the dream of life, to come in to that place of nothingness, to, to discover that your consciousness, just pure consciousness, becoming one with the wind, knowing that you're part of the all. You know, it's just an experience, and that experience will just teach you everything. And that's why the Bible says you have no need of any man to teach you. So my brother and my sisters, you know, I just want to strengthen you and just want to encourage you to make no one bring no panic on you. I remember in 1999 when I was coming over to the year 2000, men, especially preachers all on TBN and all of these kind of uh, 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 channels was coming on telling people to store up water, store food, this, that, the internet going to go and, and oh, a bunch of crap. 
foolishness, okay? So my brother and my sisters, I just want to encourage you, stay on the right path and remember what was taught to us from those who have been awakened, like never got it, who would have had the same experience that I would have had, you know, being born from the skull, experiencing the virgin birth, experiencing the resurrection, knowing that our body is the empty tomb, and so on. That is why these guys were spreading this thing around, saying that it's been written in the Bible and in, in the eight books of the ancients and so on. But it's an inner experience. And it's only until you have that inner experience, you will understand that everything that really takes place on the outside, it represents that which on the inside. But this mass thing that they're looking for, my brother and my sister, don't get caught up with the hype, okay? So let me say, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. And I just want to remind you, every time that I bring this message to you, that it is the single eye message of self-realization, of which Matthew 6, 22 says that if your eye be single, your whole body be full of light. And truly, it is when that eye open within you that your whole body be full of light, after you would have felt that great and mighty shaking, that great earthquake. And you will have seen like a fiery being, and you will hear the unearthly wind, that great and mighty Russian wind that, is, uh, that have been spoken of in Acts chapter 2. And when you ascend like a fire being, you will burst your crown chakra. Yes, you will come out of your skull and you will become invisible. You will become one with the wind. And then you will understand that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. It's the great solar flash of which they are speaking about. As the lightning comes from the flashes from the east. You understand? So too will be the coming of the Son of Man. It will be like a flash of lightning. Okay? So, my brother and my sister, when you realize it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N, you will realize also that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun parallels the human imagination, and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there is no life, and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And you're told in the Bible, in Psalms 84, 11, that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. And common sense will teach you that the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity. For the sun is what powers all of humanity and gives all of humanity its energy. Then in Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2, you're told that the sun, as in the S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And truly, the sun has risen in me, and I'm bringing healing to all of humanity, pointing each and every one to look inwardly, to discover that your real identity is your divinity. That's why I always say to you to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your sun power, your God power, your creative power, which is actually the sexual power. Use that power to achieve your every desire and enjoy the pleasures of your solar system within yourself. That was the message that was taught to Neville Gala by Abdullah, our ancestor, the black mystic from Ethiopia. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.